Hey, hey, this is Laura Polko. I'm T3 Stylist Ambassador and I am a huge fan of the convertible collection because if you cut your hair, the inch is great. If you're medium length, inch and a half is great. But for me, my hair is finally long enough to use the inch and a half. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna do a quick, easy bend, something that will make me feel like I tried a little harder than I have been <laughs> the past couple weeks. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I start usually at the bottom and the back. I slip my hair straight down the middle, just pull it all in front and go that way. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm going to go above and just do a simple little Hold on it and let it go. Just a little bend. Take this section on top. Do the same thing, just wrap it around. I have my heat setting at a three because my hair is color treated. It's pretty fine. I don't have a ton of it and I don't want, I don't need that much heat just a little bit. And then here, I'll just basically split it like this. Do that. And what I did to prep was I prepped it just by simply blow drying it with a, I used the convertible dryer, or convertible, I used the compact dryer, and a large round brush. And what I did here is I directed this section back, this section forward and just kind of threw it out of my face and let it fall how it falls. And usually that ends up being the best blowout for me. So this, we just want to section off this very front bit. Save that for last. Okay. All right, wrap that around. Get a little heat on it. Uh, here what I like to do is just kind of hit it with a little heat here so I get that really nice face framing. And in the front, I'm just gonna go. Okay. And you have it there. Same thing in the back on the other side. This side for me is a bit easier because I'm right-handed. So I definitely suggest always starting with the harder side. And even for me as a professional, it's still gonna be hard. And then if you're doing it this way, instead of holding the ends with your fingers, which kind of gives you more control over keeping them straight, what you wanna do is you wanna kind of slide it out so then it hits the ends as if it was almost a little straightener. So that's great for getting that wave rather than a curl. And here. Again, just following along. So I kind of leave it out and then pull it like that. So you can see the ends are pretty nice and straight. And also to get more control, I personally obviously really like to put two hands on it, especially because, you know, the bigger the barrel, the heavier it is. So then you really kind of have a good grip on what's going on. Okay, same thing in front here. And wrap it around. I like to have this opening right where the eye meets. So that way it opens right around your eye. So, let it cool for a second, shake it out, and I would like to shake the front out. There you go! Your ultimate beach wave.